Yes, sir. Well, how you doing, buddy? I'm. A, what's your name again? Doug. Doug. Okay, my name is Wilson, and nice bike. Yeah, so we're gonna uh, perform the the haircut right now and get you brand new for 2024. Let's go. Let's go right now. Yeah, I'm using the documenting this. Right. Yeah, it helps you out. Yeah, man, it helps a lot. Man. Yeah, this world, it appreciate anybody out. Is that people just think about themselves? See, I had a job uh, last year, about end of last year. Yeah. I couldn't do it no more. I yeah. had rent money to go pay rent, and the landlord said, "No, ain't no sense to pay rent because Jimmy's already rented the trailer out." So no. I took the rent money, me, my wife, and the two cats. When we went to Hilton. We spent about a week there. Yeah. The church member where she goes to and works for. Hey, decided to come out of my piece of property and live out oh, yeah? there. So that's what we did. I mean, I'm, we're in a tent, but we're underneath the carport. But the carport, yeah. We got water. We got power. That's the main thing. That's the the, the main thing. Is the water and all the essentials. Yeah. To keep you moving. It's, it's you know it's all gated community. Oh, it's gated community. Yeah, I got it. I got it. It's all pad it's paddle locked up. Oh, okay. It's like two acres. Oh, wow. They got a trailer there, but it ain't worth living in. He just yeah. said, just pop a tent up. So that's what I did. I popped a tent in the back. That's all you, all you do? We've been there for almost three months now. Oh, yeah? We're doing good. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, that's what, that's what. Uh -huh. The cats are surviving. I'm surviving. We got to survive. Survival of the fittest. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Survival of the fittest, man. This is, that's what I'm saying, man. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to get this nice, nice and tapered here. Yeah. Wow, it's... man. It's a, you got nice hair. It's nice and soft. Beautiful. Top ain't really, really too yeah, much yeah, about it. Yeah, it's the bottom. It's the sides. Yeah. So tell me a little, a little bit about yourself. How you was, you know, your, your history. How all this came about, you know? Well, I took care of my mom and dad. Oh. Okay. Like I said, my mama got real sick. I had to quit work, take care of her. Yeah. Okay. She got real sick again, and the main artery to her heart was clogging. Oh, wow. So, wow, that's, you know. It's hard to I, they, Yeah, they couldn't do nothing about it because of her age and her you know, oh. so weakness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they told me that they could keep her shot up with morphine. That's what it Oh, is. the morphine. Yep, yep. I said, just, just do that to make her comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The pain. Four years later, Dad was in the house. I cooked him breakfast. Uh huh. He went to get up and go put his dishes up. I don't know why, because he knows I was going to take care of him. Exactly. He went to turn around too quick, and he oh, slipped no. and fell. Uh huh. Fractured his hip. Oh. Went to the hospital. Yeah. Had it redone again. Redone. Yeah. Because, oh, surgery. Yeah. And the shit him over here. The Used to be some belt. Now it's advanced health nursing home back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And three days later, he died of a massive heart attack. Oh wow! They counteract his medicine. So I went to go collect his stuff. Yeah. Them dirty people. They kept his no tie. His his leather belt was made out of tie hide. Yeah. Uh, his glasses. His yeah. false teeth. Wow. All I really got back was his ID. And his you know, so security card and stuff like oh, that. Oh, for real? I oh. didn't get his wallet back nothing. or none of that back. So, and, you know, wrong. that's nothing. how people, I say, if your parents ever go in a nursing home, yeah, don't make an announcement that you're showing up. I said, just show up. Oh, okay, I got you. you know, just don't up, let them know. Just, yeah, just sneak up on them. Sneak up on them. Yeah. Just sneak up on them. Yeah. Oh wow! So so what happened after that? Like, uh, they, who? How they got buried? They got buried here? Yeah, they're buried in Hunt Club. Okay. Yeah, road out the mountain way you want to call it road. Yeah. And I had the house. Oh, you had the house? I had their house. Okay. Yeah. The mortgage company kept saying I owed on it. I owed on it, but they had a quick claim deed turned over to me in 2004. Uh huh. To find out, I didn't really owe nothing on the house. It was it, it, it was mine. Oh, it was yours, okay. Because, you know, they gave me a quick claim deed, which I yeah. owned the property. Gotcha. But I couldn't fight the mortgage company. I, you know, I didn't have that much money. And I told my neighbors, I said, you know what? I'm just done with it. So you, you, got, you, got, you, got, you had it with it. Yeah, I said, I'm, I'm done with it, man. And I asked him what got me. I asked him, I said, can I sell this place? He goes, oh, yeah, you can do what you want to do with it. Uh -huh. So it was worth, like, 43 
I sold it for like 45000 Yeah. And they gave me what they owed me, and the rest they said they owed it on the, the mm. payment. I bought an RV, parked it on a French Street property. Uh-huh. And he decided to come up three months after that, and said, oh, by the way, you got to go. What? I said, Donnie, I said, what are you talking about? He goes, you got to go. I said, okay, I'll do what I can do. I went to go start the RV up. The wiring harness around the headlights, all that, it caught a fire, so. Oh, wow. I lost the RV. The RV, yeah. And he kept saying, well, I want the title to it. What? And I was a smart man. Yeah. I, I got the title. Boom, he can sell it. <laughs> I, you know, I, nope. wrote, I wrote junk on the back of it and junk on the front of it, and I sent it straight to Tallahassee. Okay. And that's the end of that story. <laughs> now you see my story now. I, I feel you. I understand. Yeah, I live way out there on Lakeville Road. So. Lake yeah, I, did. I came up town here to get um, water for me and the cats and yeah. her. Oh, you got cats? I got two of them. Okay. We adopted them. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? What up, yeah. man? How you doing, Baba? You doing all right? I ain't seen in a couple of days. You been working? So you been up here. Huh? So you been up here. This guy come up and said, hey, I give him haircuts. I said, okay, that sounds good to me. <laughs> you know me, I needed one. Cigarettes and soap? A uh, what? Cigarettes. No. I'm a broke man this week. I am broke. But we happy. Yeah. We got to be happy. Yeah, you got to be happy. I, I go with It could be worse. We could be you missing know, a leg. I go with the flow now. You can't ride a bicycle without the leg. It's hard. We, some people got to think about it. I look like this. It could be worse. Oh, you friend know? knows history. Yeah. That man been through some crap. Whew. You're telling me. Forget about it. So you still got family in, in, in uh... I yeah. got two brothers down here, but they care less about me, and, you know, and I care less about them. Oh, for real? You yeah. know? No communication there. Yeah. I ain't got to like them, but I got to love them. Oh, yeah, it's brother. You know what but I'm saying? But that's the way it is sometimes. I got one that lives in Assetilly. He's got two houses. You think he oh, let wow. me? He think he let me live in one of them? No. No. That one he lives in Coco somewhere. Yeah. Really? I mean that one used to be the tight, the one in Coco. Right? Yeah. He he switched too real bad. I just said, you know what? I, I'm done with everything. I just, I can't fight it no more. No, no. I told my old lady, I said, it's just me and you and the two cats. I said we do good. Oh, okay. Oh, you you with you with your lady? Yeah. Okay. That's good. I mean, at least you have somebody, you know, yeah, alone. Yeah. yeah. She does her part and I do my part. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yesterday, she went to a friend's place and did all the laundry. Exactly. I came up here. She got back. Came up here. I used the restroom in there. I I did a quick shave and. Okay. And I was looking at myself and I said, man, I gotta get a haircut. <laughs> Where can I get a haircut? Because the haircuts are high nowadays. Oh, no, they don't. They're, they're, up, they're up there. They're like $25 for a regular haircut. I said, you know what? No. Nah. That's what I can. I try to help people. You know, life is not about, you know, what you have and this and that. You have to, there, 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 there are good people out there, you know? Right. And it's hard to find because this world is all gone down though. Yeah, it's twisted. It's all twisted, yeah, you said it. Yeah. You gotta help the neighbors. And the Bible says you're a neighbor, you gotta help your neighbor, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Help your neighbor, man. Love your neighbor. Because you never know, that could be you. Sure. You know? I was homeless back in 2005. I was living in my car. I fell in a, a, a depression, drugs, bad people. And I just, you sat back and looked I, I, at it. I, I never, I never, never thought that I would be homeless. A lot it of just happened don't. like this. Overnight. Overnight, my license got suspended. I lost my girlfriend at that time because I was, I became an alcoholic. I left my mom's house, and my whole life turned upside down. The devil said, "You open that door, we got the demons coming," yeah, and they yeah. came. They came by the pack, and they started tearing you down. That's what they do: tear your life apart. Cause I was weak and the people I was around with was to make it even worse so I, I, I went to jail came out I, I had a pro, uh, community service hours to how to do in a church that's how God works he sent me into a church to do the hours look at that I said if you ain't if I ain't, if I ain't listening I ain't hearing forget about it 
And I said, what? And I went to 7-Eleven to go buy some beer. I needed some beer, so I needed some naughty ice. Yeah? And there was a young lady, and my friend I was with asked for her number, but I really was for me. But I was shy. And I got the, and I have her number, but I don't know if it was a, a, a real number. I thought she made it up. So my during my community service hours at the church, I called. And it was her. It was a lady. At and the I, church. And I, yeah. And I called. And I walked all the way to her house. I had no car. This time I had no car. I lost my car because I had a car accident. So I, I appeared at her, her door. It's like an angel. She invited me in and helped me. 18 year, years later, look, look we, we're together with 10 kids. Okay. Yeah, you that's got 10 blessing. kids? Yeah. But that's Dang, a blessing. Bubba. That's a blessing. That's, that's a, a, you know, if, if it ain't an angel or sign, you. forget about it. We got half of a football team. <laughs> there, I'm saying it's a beautiful thing. It's just. I said, you never give up in life because God will always, he's always listening. He's waiting for a call. And that's what we need to do is to, 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 to call him and say, yeah. hey, but you got to be specific. God, help me with my life. Well, I'm battling with this, with, with, with this kind of situation. And believe me, God will open the doors and send you help in different ways. Look, I came to this man out of nowhere. He don't know me. And I say, you know what? I want to help. Because in life, it's hard. There's nobody in the world going to wake you up and call you and say, hey, let's go help people for free. Nobody. People want to make some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't care. The money could burn. But our salvation is there. Yeah. That's what we care about, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget about it, you know? In life, you have to look about it, you know? I could have been dead. I got hit by a car. I got shot. I, got, I drowned in the ocean. I, I, I've, been through a, I've been through a little bit of craziness in my life. Me too. You know, you everybody got a testimony, and you know, sometimes you sit back and you think, "Man, I could have been dead a long time ago." Yeah. You know, but God has uh, has mercy, and He wants us to like, "Yo, I'm giving you time. It's never too late. Let's get it. Let's get together." But hey, it's all free will. But I'm happy I met you guys. Yeah, yeah pretty cool guys. What's your name? Uh, my name is Joe. Okay, Jojo. A A A K A twin. Oh, yeah. I, that's my buddy right there. Yeah. I know him. I know him for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So, do y'all go to the shelter? Do the shelter fill up? There's no shelters around here. Only downtown Orlando, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Friends got a place. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's good. At least we all watch out each other. No, no, that's, it. that's how it is. Uh, we, exactly. Uh, we, exactly. See, a lot of people get beside themselves. Yeah. 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 They don't know that that, that, could, be, that could be taken away like that. Quick. Boom. Yeah. Don't. Uh huh. Yeah. Twin's been through stuff like that, and he's like I me. Mean, he don't. He don't mess around with people. No. Where you going? This ain't been all right with. I'm over here. They, they know I'm used to, but. A popular, they like to harass a lot of us, but, um, you know, I told them, I give them a good reason to harass me. As if they don't, I just get them for harassment. I heard that they take out the law, they put a law that you can't live in the, the, the woods. You can't, you can't, you can live sidewalk. in the woods, you can't sleep on the sidewalk, you oh. can't sleep in the park. But, you know, that stuff ain't supposed to start until next year in January. Oh, okay. But they try to reinforce it quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, down there in the... They don't own that. That's free land. That's why I'm glad I'm where I'm at, out there off in Lakeville Road. I'm in Royal Orange County. And Orange County don't mess with you bad as the city does. But I got I got permission being on the property. I mean, they see me come in out of the gate all the time. They see me lock it, so. I live right a little ways past Lakeville Elementary. I got Spanish people around me, twin. They're not like the ones up here. The ones up here, you raise tang and all this. And then people out there, they eat, sleep, and go to work. Eat, sleep, and go to work. Don't hear no guns. You yeah, don't hear. That'll work. Look at that. That'll work. You, you, look, you look 10 years younger. Yeah. Forget uh, about I it. I like that. <laughs> what wow. I like is just right here. Man, fantastic, man. Hey. You get good. You did, you, I'm going to play for you guys, okay? Can we, can we can pray for you guys? Thank you, Lord Jesus, for these three men that we have here. We have our buddy here that I've just met, great man, the other guy, and the other guy, 
we all family here. We're brothers in Christ. Thank you, Lord. Bless their, 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 their life. Bless them to find a better way to live. And let them open the door for, for these young men. Give them health, love, and prosperity in their lives. Thank you, Jesus. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Woo! Thank you, Baba. Hey. Thank you, Baba. Hey. Thank you You're so good. much. You're good. Man. I, no, I thank you a lot. Oh, man. I come every every Tuesday. I pass by. Well, my yeah. hair won't grow that quick. But. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm getting new. I, I just want to get new new people, at, you know, every time. Yeah. I'll let them know. Dude. All right, guys. This was a fantastic that. moment to meet new new people. And I'm so happy that I met them. And yeah, this is the park right here in Apopka. So real nice. And um, it's, it's, it's exciting to help people and for God to bless people. What is it, man? West Orange Trail. West Orange Trail. That's the name of it. So yeah, you guys stay tuned. There's more. And I'll continue, continue helping others. Love your neighbors. Keep spreading the gospel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This is Sidewalk Barber. Once again, God bless.